In this video, you will learn about the light sensor and how it works. The light sensor can measure two kinds of light. It can measure ambient light, which is the surrounding light or room lighting. You can see in this room the light is on, in this room it is dark. It can also measure reflected light. The light sensor can generate its own light. Part of the light is reflected back to the sensor, and the sensor measures this reflected light. If you are going to measure ambient light, be sure to uncheck the Generate Light box in the Configuration panel. But for measuring ref reflected light, you will need this box to remain checked. For sensing lines on a mat, like in First Lego League, you will usually be measuring reflected light and not ambient light. Dark colors absorb light, so they don't reflect as much back to the light sensor. This means that dark colors will have low readings. Light colors reflect more light. This means that lighter colors will have higher readings. You may be wondering about colors. Yes, the light sensor can disting distinguish between some colors. I recommend that you use the program at the end of this video to measure the readings of different colors. If you get different values, you may be able to use those values to detect a change in color. If you have a need for a color sensor, uh, there is one out there and it is allowed in FLL. I suggest that you calibrate your light sensor before using it and whenever the conditions change. See our video on calibration for instructions. Calibration sets the scale of light values to be between 0 and 100. Close to 0 for dark colors and close to 100 for light colors. Notice I say close to. When working with sensors, we don't usually say exact numbers. Instead, we use ranges. Less than 10 for, for dark or greater than 90 for white, or whatever values you determine you need to use. This is because the actual readings bounce around a little bit, and you'll see that when you uh, measure, when you use the light sensor. Using a range allows for a little bit of jumping around. The programmer will determine what ranges should be used uh, to get the desired outcome. Here is the program I mentioned earlier. This program will display the light sensor readings on the NXT's display. These are calibrated values, which are the ones your program will use. I'm going to show you how to build this um, program. First, we want to start with the light sensor block. We drag and drop that. We'll pull out, we need an advanced block that changes numbers to text because the display block won't display numbers. You have to convert numbers to text to display them. Okay, on this one we're going to change this to text. And we want to make sure that when we wire up our light sensor, we plug it into port 3. Here we're just going to click and drag a wire from here to here. To open up this hub, I click right here. And we're going to text, <laughs> we're going to connect this wire from this port to this port. To close up that hub, you can just click right here. Click there, and it kind of tidies them up. And it doesn't really matter. This says it's going to display Mindstorms NXT, 
but this data wire overrides whatever's in the control panel or has, takes precedence. Now we're going to put this in a loop so that it will do it over and over again. I'm just going to put my loop right there, drag and drop. And then I'm going to highlight these three blocks. That's a click and a drag. And click and a drag into here. And then release them. This is your light sensor display program. And that's how you write, that's how you create it. I want to point out one more thing on this light sensor block. On this light sensor block, notice that the generate light is checked. We do want that because we're going to be measuring reflected light. Once you have the program up and running, here are some ideas of things you could try. These have to do with uh, holding the light sensor over different colors, varying the distance between the light sensor and the color, and shielding your light sensor from ambient light. You can actually just see what happens and if it affects the values. Also, you could use this little program just to see if your light sensor has been calibrated or if the calibration is still good. Do you get values close to zero for black and close to 100 for white? If so, your sensor is calibrated. Check back soon. We are making more tutorials all the time. Please let us know if you find these helpful or confusing. Do you have ideas for other tutorials? Send us email at info at robodesigners.com.